am re gaming. Hello and welcome back, everybody. Uh, this definitely not where we normally start off here. We are coming into episode 13 here, I believe. And something I want to talk about a little bit. Since starting this, playing this game and posting these videos, uh, I've learned that there's a lot of community support and other groups out there. A lot of people enjoy this game, and I learned all these groups, a lot of great people in them. One of the groups I'm part of is a server for Scott Free For All. Don't know if you've checked out his channel. He has some awesome content, really great role play series he's going through right now uh, called The Holler. Uh, really great. I'll probably drop that in the description. Um, in that server page, there was somebody named Big A on Discord. One of the things he was wanting to do to kind of improve the community and everything and bring together other people that enjoy Farming Simulator is uh, start a Facebook page group for people in the area. It is uh, a private group, so you need to be from the area and checked and everything, so try to keep it safe for the kids. Well, he posted something on the server about it, asking for ideas, asked if it's a good idea, got a lot of support from it, and I told him I'll go ahead and mention it in the next video I record. By the time this releases, I think it'll be a couple weeks since he uh, made the page. But anyways, the page name is mo Farming Simulator, so Missouri Farming Simulator. I will put a link in the description if I can. Not sure. I probably can. I know there is a spot to copy the link, so I can just copy and paste. So it's a Facebook page. I told him I don't have many subscribers, so... But who knows, maybe somebody from Missouri is watching this video and would be interested in doing something like that. Uh, just get together and play Farming Simulator online and stuff like that. Learn how to play. I do know it's a great game to play. Obviously, I keep posting them, and my kids are definitely going to be getting into this. They've been willing to play, and now I just got to buy them a copy for one for his computer and one for the other Xbox. Probably looking like Christmas presents coming up for them, and then we'll start probably making videos together of this game. Yeah, probably mostly me yelling at them, or them driving the tractor off in the ditch. You know, stuff kids might do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, back to his channel, uh, his page. Yeah, there's really not much uh, description on it. People who like Farming Simulator that live in the Missouri area, just kind of a community page. I mean, they all start off somewhere. So, who knows? A year from now, it could be a huge page. But if y'all are in the Missouri area, check that out. Amazing uh, harvest out of that. I really enjoyed it. Alrighty, so we are here on the farm. It is actually almost harvest time. Go over and look at this field. I actually figured out what uh, wrong with my mouse. There is a button on top of it. Don't know if I mentioned it. Uh, I don't think I've recorded it since I've figured this out, but there's a button on top of it that will adjust the sensitivity. It's a pretty cool feature, I think, but I didn't know about it, so it was driving me crazy. But anyways, uh, we are, I believe, almost ready to harvest here, I think, uh, next month. I don't know how it's going to play into with me having multiple days in there. Maybe one of those days is the harvest day. Uh, I don't know, we'll find out. But I plan on skipping ahead to that. First, I want to set something up in my login area. This episode is going to be about harvesting, but got something going on. I found a mod that I already had and I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Here we go. I believe I got it under production. It is going to be a game changer. This Lumberjacks mod. Oh my gosh. I didn't have much time to play. Definitely didn't have much time to record. I was kind of tired of editing. So I was like, you know what, let me go through some of the mods I have. Uh, I had a few mods saved I wanted to get, so I went ahead and got them and started going through. The main reason I was on my test map was because I wanted to find something that can cut down the large trees. And I did. I found some, thanks to uh, YouTube. But while doing all that, I found this. Happy little accident. Like the great Bob Ross would say. This thing is amazing. It makes 
so much wood. It is ridiculous how much wood it takes. It does cost a lot for production, but hey, that's fine. Let me... We set it up on this side of the road. Oh, I got trees there. Uh oh, I forgot. I could barely see them. I got planted trees there. Let's try not to get those, I guess. Well, I don't know. You know what? I was actually been thinking about putting stuff outside the forest here. Maybe I will. Let me do that. You know what? I'm gonna put it right there. Like it kind of as you enter the logging area, kind of looks like you got a fuel tank there, grab some supplies type of thing. Yeah, this is an amazing mod. Honestly, it might be a cheat how good it is. I don't know. Let me, let me know what y'all think here in a second once I show you. Let me fix up this uh, terrain real quick first. There we go. Got to put it in here. Let's take a look at this. Lumberjacks. So it takes fuel. Diesel. My bad. Diesel produces wood. So the idea behind this and the description, I believe, what it said was, hey, it's taking the diesel to run the chainsaws and the lumberjacks are going out there and cutting down trees for me type thing. And that also goes behind the high production cost of 4800 With how much wood this actually puts out, I don't think that 4800 is enough money. But we'll leave it for now. We'll We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm not playing on hardcore or anything. I, I'm not going to cheat in a bunch of money. I don't plan on popping down like 100 solar panels either just to have all that passive income. I want it to be easy and fun because I'm still learning this game. And I don't know. I mean, I do kind of feel like this is cheating because one month we'll make 400,000 liters of wood. I already tested it. I skipped a day. Well, on my test folder, it's only a one month day thing. So I skipped. Bam. 400,000 liters of wood. Barely, barely used any fuel. It's crazy. Yeah. It might be cheating, but it's more of the output I was expecting with the wood production mod I got over there. I'm really, I'm kind of disappointed in that. Kind of. I don't know. I haven't 100% did the testing. I really like that one right there, and that's the kind of output I was looking for. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pay these people. So that's what I'm saying, that 5000 a month, I don't think it's enough. But hey, let's go drop this trailer. I'm going to get my uh, tanker trailer, or whatever you call it, and go pick up some diesel. And then fill that up. I'm just going to do a trailer full. That's it, one trailer full and call it good because that will actually be plenty and then we will get into what this actually this episode's actually about which is harvesting so <laughs> just a little detour here i didn't want to leave y'all out of it it was a pretty big thing well here we go finally made it over here um how do i unload there we go okay and figure out how to unload it. So as you can tell, I do not have a full trailer full. Uh, not because I ran out of money, but because it was taking forever. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna go in and do a direct buy uh, in the future. I don't need to right now, but uh, man, that was taking forever. Go ahead and take a look at it. That should last quite a while, actually, I believe. You can tell it's already going up pretty fast. So, yeah, I'm going to have some actual good wood going there. And then, how's my honey doing? It's all right. It's all right. I'm actually going to go ahead and set these as distributing. If I haven't already, these pallets and barrels. And it will fill up, so I'm not worried about it. There we go, that thing is loud. Okay. Let's get back over to the harvester. Um, sleep through the night. Or skip through the night. And then, uh, well, get ready to harvest. 
pretty excited for it. It's been a long time coming. I mean, this is episode 13, and I'm about to hit my first harvest. Uh, I'm going to have to learn how to skip some time here. Start doing some more harvest on this game. But I, I don't know. As long as y'all enjoy it, and I'm having fun, hey, we'll go with it. Alrighty, we are back uh, 8 a.m. the next day. So the first day of July here. What are we looking at here? Look. Just like it's harvestable i believe it is it is a different color ready to harvest oh yeah i'm actually going to set this up on a horse play main reason there is i want to put together like a montage of it uh, i've been wanting to work on my montage editing skills and i think it would go great with somebody else driving the tractor and i can get different types of angles yeah looking good looking good so yeah, let me uh, try to put together a cool little montage for y'all. I don't know. We'll see what it turns out to be. Pop some music in there and uh, hope y'all enjoy. Alrighty, we are all done there. Quite a bit of uh, straw to pick up. So, uh, let me get this course place saved. I uh, hope that montage turns out pretty good and put together. And I'm not even sure if that trailer filled up all the way or what. Because I had the everything turned off so I didn't see the level there we go I mean it's pretty close to full oh man really 1200 liters short from being full okay well I don't exactly want to just wrap the episode up with just like harvesting only so, looks like we get to do some other stuff. Let me get this course play saved, and then I'll get back with y'all on what we're going to do. The next thing for us to do is try to find a place to put all this. Well, actually, the easy thing for me to do is probably put it in here. Well, I do have that production down there I want to do. Hold on. I was just going to build a silo to hold it, but I don't think I need to. Thing is, the future plans here I'm looking at doing is this area up in here. I'm gonna probably push some more sheds and support a big silo type thing. But 
uh, after flying over here, I just realized... Hey, I got chickens. I can take this. L let me check that out real quick. I guess I can check it out here. I also disabled that uh, mod. The maze something mod. I don't remember. Yeah, let's uh, go dump this off in there. I don't want to dump it all in there. Ah, that's trying to lift the front. Yeah, I think I might be looking at doing some sort of semi over here just for my grain. Oh, I, I, guess, I think I could actually dump it in there. That could be my silo. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I'll look into that. Maybe I'll get one of those and just... That way I don't have to distribute it. Well, that way I don't have to personally drive it over to the production site. So I could just set it on distribute and it will distribute it out. Hopefully I can back this up. I, I don't know, that's a pretty good uh, harvest there. Quite a bit of uh, wheat. Quite a bit. I mean, good size field. Really good size field. Uh-oh. So let me go ahead and put uh, about half of this in there. Maybe not even that much. Yeah, I'll go with half. Going out pretty fast. Yeah, after picking up what's left in the harvester, I'll run over that rock before I do it. Come on. I am going to need a place to store this. That is something I noticed. It is pretty big. Yeah, I, I'm not going to leave it outside for the whole time. Let me get it moved out of the way out of the main street here, and then we'll look into probably building something for this. I don't think it's going to fit in that shed over there, and I don't really like that shed holding my equipment very much. I am going to take this over to the flower production, I believe is what it was. Yeah, let's see our wheat flour is what I can produce. Um. Yeah, that will probably run pretty good. Let's do that. Here we go. This is actually the first time I am using this facility on this map or ever. So. I'm going to get all this dumped in. Oh, I guess I could run over there real quick and get that butt. What's this do? Storage empty, okay. Uh, just loaded some wheat in there. I got a feeling it is gonna blow right through that really fast. Wow. Hey, fun. Let's go ahead and uh, activate it. Yeah, 12,000 cycles per month. Yeah, it's gonna blow through that pretty fast. And then... Let me check on a few other things. We're doing good on water. You know what? I wish there was a report you could see. Like, click on this, see what it produced last month. That, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that wheat's gonna do nothing. I mean, it, it's gonna make some flour, for sure, but it's gonna blow right through real fast. So, we'll see what happens. One thing I need to do before wrapping this up as an episode is I want to get some sort of a new shed put in. A uh, barn, something, I don't know. Something better to hold my equipment. Uh, I'm not really going to be too picky about it, I don't think. <laughs> we'll see. As I sit here for hours looking, probably. Here we go. I I think I'm gonna go with this one really big, probably be the last one I need to purchase. Maybe. Um, tons of room on the inside. This is actually the one I tried to use right here originally, but there's just too many holes from the trees. So I'm going to put it right in this area. These three trees right here. Uh, don't want them to end up being in my way, so I'm going to cut them down real quick and grind the stumps out with the stump grinder. Then, uh, get to level that terrain out and get that placed in, do a little touch-up detail. So I'll be back with y'all after I get those trees cut down out of the way. There we go, got it all trees all taken out. Let's get in here and do some leveling. 
hopefully this works out pretty good. Actually, just remember, let's save the game first before I do anything crazy. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off the autosave. Just in case anything messes up and I go to back out, it doesn't just save me instantly. Level... Yeah, I'm hitting my property line right there, which is fine. I don't think I need to go that far over right now. The idea here is I kind of want to follow off this road path and kind of go into it. So we'll see if that works. I just realized I put down the wrong color. I want to try to make it match uh, kind of more towards that one I already got over there. There we go. Man. Alright, let me do all that again. There we go. Uh... Not much. Uh, I didn't want to put too much effort into the terrain here because I'm going to end up buying that plot of land back there and doing some more leveling. So, bam, it's going to get rid of the grass or whatever I put there. So, I'm not too worried about it. Here's what I got so far. I plan on putting some big bags or pallets or something in there with uh, lime for the lime spreader. And over here I have my planter, cedar, um, and it fertilizes too, so I'll put some fertilizer and seed up here. I have some, I could have dropped it in there, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Uh, there's put the harvester in there. That header actually cannot fit through there driving straight on, so if you've ever had to fit something long through a door on a forklift, you kind of know how I got that uh, through there. Just turn the correct way uh roller i just threw here i don't know what's going on but i had a hard time getting over two miles an hour when pulling that but we'll figure that out when i go to need it next time just through the plow there so basically all the stuff over here doesn't require anything as far as uh lime and seeds and stuff so don't worry i set up now we'll see if it changes Finally got the doors over here closed, but uh, that is going to wrap it up for an episode. I uh, got a amazing uh, 
harvest out of that. I really enjoyed it. That was pretty fun. Hopefully I make a nice montage for y'all and y'all like that. And that to find a place to put that harvester. I don't want to leave it outside anymore. So kind of a necessary expense. I mean, it didn't really need to be this big, but add the money and I like to blow the money. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down below if you got any tips, tricks, or suggestions. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I definitely don't know. So let me know uh, what y'all think about the video. I uh, love some feedback, and as always, y'all have a great day or night. Bye.